Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm Justin and I'm here in sunny California today at SEMA Garage. SEMA is our industry trade association and they make a wonderful set of tools and facilities available to aftermarket automotive member companies like VMP. So today, Tuner Joe and I are out here at the emissions lab at SEMA Garage working on our 2018 F-150 and a 2013 GT500. Both these vehicles feature VMP supercharger systems, but what I really want to show you is this amazing lab that we have been using. So this is an emissions dyno. It's a lot like a chassis dyno that you're used to seeing on our channel all the time, but this one has a much different purpose. So there is a roller. In this case, it's a 50 inch roller to simulate driving on the road. And everything that comes out of the vehicle while it's driving is collected by this system of pipes, funneled up here, down that big pipe, into the bag bench on the other side. And this is done to measure total emissions output of the vehicle on a federally approved drive cycle, the FTP, the US06, the SCO3. And we are doing all of this to obtain EO numbers for our product to be sold in California. I know it's really important to you California guys and girls that have to go through inspection every couple of years. So we are doing this incredible level of detailed testing to be able to offer you packages with superchargers, tunes, throttle bodies, etc. that are permitted in California with these EO numbers. This is a 2013 GT500 that was loaned to us by a customer specifically for this type of testing. It's got our Gen 3R supercharger. Oh, actually, that's not a Gen 3R. That's bigger than a Gen 3R. That's our latest and greatest supercharger because we wanted to test the worst case while we're here to get coverage on our entire supercharger line. It's got our throttle body intake, of course, VMP custom tuning as well. So when the driver was running this vehicle earlier, and we can flip to that clip. So right here is the trace, and this represents an acceleration. And since this GT500 has a manual chance, this actually represents a gear change. And this is all just meant to simulate real world conditions and measure vehicle emissions to make sure they are not higher than the standard the vehicle was originally certified to. He was actually driving a trace, and that is what is meant to simulate the real world conditions and measure the emissions as they come out of the tailpipe. This fan right here even simulates the air flowing over the vehicle as if it was being driven down the street. You can see that there's a screen over there that the driver watches and follows the trace. Unlike a chassis dyno where you're making wide open throttle hits, this one is all about smoothness, consistency, and correctly replicating the load on the vehicle. So you can see that these just grab the front tires. There's no actual straps. And the back tires just sit on the roller. This dyno is absolutely not for wide open throttle testing. That'd be a very bad idea. Back here, you can see the bag bench that I was telling you about earlier. I can't open up that equipment because it's not mine, but there are actually bags inside that get filled during the test and then analyzed after the test. One of the things that helps big time with development is having real time modal data. So we are able to see real time what the emissions are coming out of the tailpipe and correlate those with various parts of the testing process. To the tuner geek in me, this is all really cool stuff that allows us to tune and calibrate for both performance and emissions with an incredible level of detail. For those of you that are at home watching though, this means that VMP is going to be offering supercharger kits and packages very, very soon with EO numbers for California. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.